media player. Um, seeing how I have uh, Camtasia running, it's going to take some time to load, which was kind of a dumb idea. So uh, let's wait for that. There it is. Okay, now it's, uh, as you see, it's just a little compact uh, thing. You can rate and do different things with it. Uh, nothing that huge. Uh, go back to the main player. Come on. Okay, so here we go. Uh, views. Alright, so uh, player controls. Uh, you can display the player at the top if you want, or you can display it at the bottom, which is default. I just keep it at the bottom. I think if it if it goes on the top, it looks too bulky. Um, whatever you want, it don't matter. Uh, media views. Uh, see how it, this is all gridded out. This is called the filter view. Um, if I just want it to label all my songs and uh, not filter it, it, I can just go to the list pane and it'll filter it, you know, won't filter everything, just put everything in just one big list. Um, I'll probably use both from time to time, I don't have a preference. Uh, zoom, you can zoom in a web page and you can zoom out and you can reset the zoom. Uh, page style to no style. If you do this, all the text will go on the left side. I think I haven't tried this on this regular on um, my library, um, but if you do this on a web page, it'll turn the images off and basically leave everything but the text, uh, and that will go to the left side of the page. Character encoding. Uh, you can auto detect more encodings. Uh, as you see here, just different ones. Uh, you can customize and you can find your page source. Uh, tools, file downloads, uh, add-ons, login to last FM. I don't even know what that is. I'm probably gonna check that out after. Uh, create an extension, create feathers, which is a theme. Uh, refresh the UI. You can restart, uh, enable profile manager, disable XUL cache, XUL editor, XUL periodic table, JavaScript debugger, JavaScript environment, ear console, XP com viewer. Um, expector and you can clear your private data data you can also get uh, more help um, help topics check for updates and about songbird so you can get uh, your system information and it has a license agreement right there and uh, so tools uh, let's go to the options um, as you see here it's just uh, basic stuff this is the shoutcast part uh, let's go to the main part Okay, so home page. You can set this to whatever you want. Uh, let me minimize this. You can set this to whatever you want. I just put it as Google because it's a simple web page. Uh, music downloads, where do you want them to save to? My music. Uh, file downloads, uh, save those to your desktop. Uh, tabs, just tab options. Uh, if you always want to show the tab bar or not, and if you want to open a tab once it's opened. Um, Content, uh, block pop ups, load images automatically, enable JavaScript, and enable J uh, Java. And uh, default font, I'm probably going to change that to my Calibri font, which should be down there. Okay, there it is. Uh, languages, uh, right here you can choose your languages also. Hotkeys, if you have um, buttons on your keyboard this can be very useful so if you have a next button and a pause button on your keyboard uh, these can come in uh, right here privacy just uh, if you want it to if you want the application to remember your uh, visited pages or not uh, if you want to enable cookies private data uh, you can enable it so that always clears your private data when you uh, close out Songbird. Um, so that can be useful. Uh, security, uh, just different security options uh, if you want it to remember your passwords that you put in or not. Uh, advanced, you have general advanced, network and advanced, updating advanced, uh, update advanced, and encryption advanced. Uh, if you want to use auto scrolling or smooth scrolling, um, you can check those. Uh, default, it has check misspelling as I type, which means if you uh, mistype something as you're typing, it'll underline it red, uh, which means uh, you just typed it wrong. Add-ons. I'll show you your list of add-ons that you have. Here are all my add-ons. Um, nothing great. 
uh, you can install new ones and you can find updates for ones and you can just get different extensions so web integration just uh, some web integration permission forms iTunes uh, import if you have an iTunes library you can import that you browse it and then you click on import library uh, you have import options here and here's your shellcast uh, system filters and such for your radio so click on K click OK and uh, basically that's my video on Songbird my review I'd probably give Songbird a 9 out of 10 um, thanks guys